Any jumps? We're just gonna do three. So this will be the first one, and then after that we'll go ahead and stack a box. Okay. All right. So jump up, jump down? Yeah, just jump up, jump down. But when we jump down, I'm gonna Sorry. absorb it. So I wanna jump down from the front and absorb it. So, so you want me to go on the other side? Yeah. Jump, land on the other side. Yeah. How you feel about it? So, it's one thing to land on the edge, it's another thing to land in the middle. Do I get one step? Just no. Ah. So that's your test track. Now you know you got it, right? Seconds on the way down, coming back up again. Activate on eight, so that'll be we'll go ten here, then eight here. Up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. We'll be explosive on the way up. Up, hold the whole time, breathe out. Do a half pull up and then go into the hole. All right, so we can activate the left. Good. Right. Come on, 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 come it's not as, it's not as uh, perfect. Oh! One, two, three, oh! One, two, three, oh! Control! Good. Dip, 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 dip. Come a little bit up so you can activate the lats and then get the core. And then we'll just count. Okay, yeah. Okay. Good. Bye. All right, so that was phase one and phase two. Phase one was pretty much a warm up, then a prehab, uh, and then we went into a little bit of speed and agility. Uh, next phase, we'll be going into strength, strength, a little bit of conditioning. So once we get done with this, we'll go into stretching. So we always have four phases with an athlete, um, and then we get like a, a little cool down. So typically with athletes, it takes, especially a high level athlete like Jay Scrub, it's gonna take about an hour and a half to two hours to get a full workout in. So. Check it out. It's more intense, just coming in, locking in, getting the work in uh, when nobody else is in the gym. So it's just, it's just more intense. Flat here, boom, coming straight up, pause, back down, pause, pause, two, one, good, back flat, two. Probably like a half a mile, which okay. is like a cool down, and then we'll come back over and we'll stretch. Right. How can I optimize my nutrition and then also my conditioning over time? So, and it's kind of scaling that because during the, the middle of the season, you got to scale your training back and make sure that it's a different type of training. But you'll get used to that when you get it. Let's go at like, let's see what pace. Well, when I did run it, though, we used to run like, because we had to do a conditioning test, like, Twice a year. Right. So I we used to run on like 
eight speed. Like, I'm like that. Well, you, you don't want to run that much anyway, because you play too much basketball. And the wear and tear on your knees, you want to stay away from that. And that's why you see a lot of athletes in those machines that kind of uh, create air, so it takes the pressure off their knees. So, uh, so we'll do a lot of other like conditioning stuff that doesn't involve the pounding on your knees. People ask me, am I a slasher? I can shoot the ball. Yeah. So I wouldn't call myself a slasher. I don't know. I can make plays, get to the rim, shoot, pass, all around, I guess. I think it's why James Harden gets so pissed, bro. Because he, I mean, I scroll. Like so he can, he can pass a little bit, right, though. Right, right, right. Shit, he's averaging what? How many assists? Yeah, Eight, nine. All right. Damn, right. triple double, though. Cause he was getting he was getting them triple doubles for the longest. Right. And Westbrook. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He's just yeah. I want to say that's the only player that can get away with it. Yeah. Just going out there and hooping. Yeah. <laughs> really? There's no pressure for me. It's just figuring out what my family needs, what my family wants to do, figuring out what. The players Louisville has coming in, you know, this just taking my time and having fun with the process. That's really all it's about for me. We're we'll do some uh, some uh, static stretching, uh, and then we'll be done for today. I uh, did a great job today. Seen some things we got to improve on. So next time we'll just keep working at it, working at it. Uh, the biggest thing is consistency, um, because with a gifted athlete like Jay Scrub, um, it's hard to be an addition to him. So I'm gonna try to do my best to work on the small things so that we can add to. Uh, his value. Get him going. Hard work, be talent all day long. He got a hell of a lot of talent. Add that hard work to it, he's gonna be that much better than everybody else. Wait and see, Jay Scrub coming at you hard. Hard work beats talent, y'all. But I got a question. What if talent works hard?